Hi, everyone. Uh, uh, actually, it's like for, for a while, it's the first conference I haven't been, uh, I'm as attending as not as a speaker, apparently, like uh, in the end, I'm talking about something, so uh, it's really cool. Um, I want to say re uh, thanks to organizers for organizing this amazing conference. All of these three days were really amazing. Th thanks for everyone for, for attending. So I, I will talk about uh, React Native in ReasonML and how you can get started and what's the current problem with, the, uh, with it right now and wh where we can uh, contribute. Uh, a little bit about myself. I'm Vladimir Novik. I'm software uh, architect and consultant. I work in various fields, web, mobile, virtual reality, augmented reality, mixed reality, Internet of Things. This is my Twitter handle. On the left is my website. Um, I also am an author of this book, uh, which is available on uh, Amazon, Parked, and various other places. This is the link. Um, so um, how would you reason in React Native? Um, that's the main topic uh, for today. But before that, I want to ask a question. Who used React Native ever? Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, so you know the architecture. So I will briefly go through the architecture. Uh, we have JavaScript runtime. We have the bridge. And we have Happy Android and uh, iOS. Uh, with Reason, we have Buckle Script and Reason. So on the left side, we do th this in compile time. So we have types. We have everything. And runtime works as usual works in uh, React Native. Uh, so React Native works with threading model. We have several uh, threads. We have main thread, which is uh, used for layout, measuring, and drawing. Uh, we have JavaScript thread, which is basically event loop uh, that executes JavaScript code, sends through the bridge, and updates before next frame uh, renders. We have shadow thread, which calculates layout updates um, and uh, sends it to the main thread, and native models uh, so, uh, they use separate threads for platform APIs. Uh, in terms of execution flow, when main thread starts, it basically uh, sends JS startup to JS uh, um, uh, thread. Then it goes to React render, layout and shadow thread, and native code in the end. Um, in terms of um, development and development experience um, right now when you execute your React Native CLI, it basically creates React Native app installed onto uh, your phone. Your JavaScript code is fed to JS Packager that is fed into React Native app. So for our use case with the reason we have uh, obviously reason and buckle script uh, which are um, um, emit JavaScript code that is fed into Packager and fed into the app, right? So if you want to use BS Rack Native, this is the, the repo. Um, and um, in order to start, we first need to initialize React Native app. So we can initialize with um, create React Native app and reason uh, scripts, but it's a little bit, not a little bit, it's outdated. Uh, so um, the use case I will show, um, we will use with the React Native CLI. So uh, we init our basic Reason app. We install dependencies, which are BS Platform, Reason React, and BS React Native. Oops. We configure uh, BSB, creating BS Config JSON, um, BS Super Errors, React, BS React Native, Reason React, obviously format and uh, we define our deal as uh, RE and sub deals as true because for example if you want to use um, external libraries so obviously you need to uh, uh, do JavaScript interop and, and define your types so um, in terms of folder structure under our RE folder will be types folder with all our types that we want to uh, uh, pass into reason um, we add build and watch scripts, uh, BSB make world and uh, with clean and with watch. Um, and we need to set up our environment. To set up an environment, we create our RE folder, add up RE file, remove app.js, we don't need, it, uh, don't need it anymore. And in our index, which is main endpoint for our uh, application, we write this code. So we import 
from libjs re app, meaning it won't work if you install everything and just uh, start watch. So you need to build and then you can uh, watch on uh, uh, BSV. Uh, then you register your component with the app. So this is the setup, the, like the basic setup. There is a repo I created, which is uh, this like basic bootstrap for, for, for the app. You can use it. Um, in terms of reason code, so there are various differences when, uh, obviously, when, when we write uh, React Native with Reason. We open BS React Native. If you've tried React Native, uh, BS React Native before, uh, like five months ago, or something like that, it was without BS uh, prefix. Now it's BS React Native. Uh, styles I used uh, differently than um, I used in JavaScript. So uh, for uh, creating your style sheets, you do style sheet create, pass a wrapper, and you create style in this way. There are some problems with uh, um, uh, these values because sometimes it's points, sometimes it's floats. Um, I, I will um, go through all the problems later on. It's not few, uh, quite a few problems. Uh, our app will look like this. So we have different options to pass our styles. We can pass them as style sheet, as I showed you before. We can pass directly here. This is, for example, points. It, it needs to accept points. Previously, it was without points. It was just a float. Um, we pass text, which is, uh, as you can see, is different as uh, it's in uh, uh, reason react when you do reason react uh, uh, string and whatever inside div here you need to pass a value um, and there are various changes in various components that are uh, quite different in order to start our project we start uh, we build then we start in watch mode and only then uh, we need to run our iOS app or Android app um, and it will look like this, like Reason is awesome. This is like the, the basic app that we'll get. So the main point uh, is not only like to get, uh, to introduce you to BS React Native, is also to talk about various problems it has right now and the current start of, uh, status of it and why it's not widely adopted right now. So uh, not all API are covered, there are pretty, uh, uh, like common APIs, for example, linking is not covered, is not supported, so there is like regular, uh, there is an option to contribute there. There are various options to contribute to the, to the repo. So currently, uh, we have warnings on uh, using JS booleans, because right now we can just use booleans, so we can go to best React Native and just like, it, it's an easy fix, right? But we need, so, someone needs to contribute. And later on, I um, uh, will appreciate if uh, I will work on contributing to Best React Native. I will appreciate if like, people will jump in and start con contributing. Uh, styles are not unified. As I uh, told you before, there are floats, there are points. Um, sometimes it doesn't really make sense from uh, why, why it looks different. No docs. And yeah, again, no docs. That's the main problem, in my opinion, for low adoption rate. Because uh, if you go to the repo, uh, these are the docs. That's it. That, that's the whole uh, docs. So if you want to write this React Native, you obviously need to look at the source code. Um, there are a bunch of APIs that are supported, a bunch of APIs that are not, suppo uh, not supported, but if you even want to know about each API and how it works, and as I told you before, it's, uh, API is quite different, uh, you need to just look at the source code, and it's not really a good thing for adoption. Uh, so also, we can contribute on that part, we can just write docs, so for, for people that uh, don't want like to dive in to like creating new API and stuff like that. Just write docs. I mean, like r really easy things to do. And uh, on the way, you will also learn how to 
use the uh, specific API and stuff like that. Um, let's get back. Uh, yeah. So um, the question is why we should use BS React Native if it's not that good right now and not like lots of things that we, we need to contribute to make it great. Um, let's see, we, we, we want all reason and all benefits, right? So we want um, proper, t um, like everything we w uh, from reason ML inside React Native Apps. Uh, and the only uh, option for us to get it is, is to con contribute. I mean, don't wait for someone to contribute into the repo and just wait uh, for it to be stable, just do it. Um, yesterday, Sean talked about GraphQL and how it's good for, uh, for uh, using with, uh, with the reason. And he mentioned that um, for mobile apps, it's um, really important because with the REST API, you have like lots of calls and for mobile apps, you want to, um, you don't want to do lots of calls and uh, network traffic is really important because you, you're on the device, right? So well, GraphQL um, API is really adopted uh, well in mobile uh, development and uh, most mobile apps nowadays use GraphQL. So um, if it's, uh, right now it's really easy to use it for the reason. Uh, so we, we can just do that. Um, most of mobile apps currently are written with TypeScript or Flow. Um, I don't need to explain why it um, is better to write in Reason, right? Obviously, you, <laughs> you are here uh, at ReasonConf. So uh, it means also that we can take the existing apps or, or parts of existing apps that are written in TypeScript and Flow and use reasonably type to convert type through and flow to reason. I mean, uh, we can get the basic idea how it's converted and then like optimize it, uh, it more, but um, it's really uh, relatively easy to do. Um, so that's basically all. It's a, sh a really short uh, talk. So I really encourage everyone who uh, want to use uh, React Native with reason just jump in and contribute, just write docs, just like start uh, doing stuff on, on that part. And you will see how the community will grow, how the uh, adoption of uh, Reason uh, in React Native will grow. And uh, I think it's really important for us to, to do that. Um, so um, there is the basic skeleton app, which is available here. Uh, well, okay, I did weird animations. So BS React Native, this is the repo, and slides are available here. I will publish it right now. So if you want just to walk uh, through the slides, uh, it's here. Yeah, and uh, if you want to uh, later on uh, during the hackathon, if you want to help with the dogs or with anything with the BS React Native, just find me and let's do it. Thanks. Thank you.